Okay, so uh, here we are, third Guild War of the season. Uh, apparently, the uh, the guys are having a hard time uh, with this guild. Um, yeah, so let's go take a look at the rankings. We're ranked 39. I think that's, you know, based on our performance from last season, I think that that's really where we belong, you know. Uh, top 50, I think, yeah. Uh, so after we win this one, I think, uh, we'll... Uh, solidify ourselves as uh, one of the higher end guilds I think um, so let's go let's go see what's going on over here uh, let's see 28 tokens left we're at 29 oof that's not looking too good um, plus to have this like background thing I don't remember what that means but yeah so like I said this guild's looking pretty tough out here let's go see what uh, that's not where am I Okay. Uh, so I haven't been attacked yet, which is kind of, kind of sucks. Uh, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's that. Uh, what else? Yeah, let's just get in here and see what's going on. It doesn't look like we've gotten to the stronghold yet, which is a good indication of where we're at right now. Uh, but they haven't gotten to our stronghold either, so they haven't, right? I don't, I don't think they have. Yeah, they haven't gotten to ours either, so. It looks kind of even. Probably isn't though. Uh, hmm. This this one doesn't look that bad. Uh, we'll come back to this one. This one looks easy. Uh, these are uh, <coughs> famous last words. Um, let us do, so we kind of want some tank here, so let's put, uh, so he's there, he's there, he's, let's put some tankiness here, we don't want debuffs, so let's go with, uh, who could be pretty good here? Charles, they got a lot of AoE, so Charles might be pretty decent. Mm, well, actually, well, yeah, no, let's not do that. Uh, Charles. What else? What else? Probably gonna want some healing. He's on a yellow, so maybe she's not the best idea. What if we do that? How's that look? Can I sustain that healing? Probably not. Well, we'll see how this one turns out. Uh, actually, I should probably just put uh, SSB here if we're being totally honest. Uh, let's get you up here. Put you there, I guess. Uh, you were, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having you there, and I want, I want a good damage dealer. Let's put, uh, where's Euphine? Euphine, there we are. Hmm, that doesn't look too bad, could be better. Uh, but, yeah, let's just get in there, I guess. Hopefully we don't just die right off the bat. Let's see how well geared these people are. This top one is mildly safe. Okay, so she's first, of course. So she's got 24, 200, or 20,000 HP. Decent speed, my... She's probably like, what, standard, you know, 220 speed, 215, something like that. Uh, so let's get... <laughs> I don't really know who to hit here. Well, she doesn't have a debuff, so let's just hit him. Uh, and there we go. So he's 1200. He's not going to be as tanky. Uh, we didn't get the defense break, so that's good. Uh, and he didn't get the defense break, which is even better. Uh, I forgot that he did that. Um, usually they're slower, though, uh, so it would have given me a chance to like um, put it up. But that's fine. We, we turned out all right. Um, 
Do I want to do this? Not really. Let's just do this. We'll save that for when, like, he's close to being dead. Closer to being dead. Uh, Zerados tend to, like, hang out. Wow, why is that? Why does she have no crit? I guess it just got unlucky. Uh, let's see. Okay, so he has a defense break. So this is the point where I'm probably going to... Uh, Oh, she's on counter. Very interesting. Probably the point where I'm going to S3 him. Uh, let's save that because he's going to throw defense break on two people here. And... Of course, okay. Let's just kill you, I guess. Okay. This is going pretty well so far, I think. Um, the Zerato is kind of a pain, but that's all right. Uh, let's just get you here. Okay, so she's dead. Um, don't really need to heal. She's, he's gonna S1, so I guess I probably should just like hit him. Uh, so I'm running a touch, on Re touch of Rekos on her, um, just to give the AoE heal. It tends to be pretty useful. Um, let's just hit you. Hopefully we don't get the buff, the debuff. Okay, so we got the counter. Okay, so now I think it's... Okay, so this is good because now I can just uh, S3 crowl him. Uh, and he's dead. Uh, the problem with Zerato is he's kind of like ML Ken, right? You just kind of like need to not worry about him until you can kill him. And the problem is that he's not as tanky or strong as, good, as ML Ken is going to be. 1200 is usually as high as your HP. You can push him when you're trying to do damage and trying to like be effective and trying to be fast enough. Um, and ultimately, it kind of ends up like it just kind of ends up biting him in the ass, right? Because um, you can never be as tanky as Ken. Now, Ken usually, you know, for those of you who've seen, like I use Ken, I use uh, my uh, what's his name, um, Crow to counter Ken's a lot of the time because uh, you know you're gonna basically smother him with your S3 uh, but it's important to realize that like uh, what's his name Zerados is always going to be just the worst Ken in, in a lot of cases now you know in RTA he serves a different function because you go in with uh, with different things but uh, it's still important to stress the point that like um, he's just easy to kind of ignore for, for the most case okay so See if I can do this before. Well, it doesn't really matter whether I do it after, before, or after. Yeah. Okay. So she'll go first. Okay. This is better actually, because uh, now I'll kill SSB. Well, presumably, right? I'll kill SSB. Um. Okay. I think she's gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. I'll kill SSB. She'll come back without the attack buff, which is good. Um. And then I can do this. Uh. My Charles has more attack than he did last time. Uh, not by like a, a huge margin, but definitely he's gonna hit harder now. Uh, I was I was experimenting with um, running him kind of like uh, tanky, fast, and just kind of irritating. Not so much um, the Charles you kind of generally tend to see, where he's just gonna hit really hard and, and you know be a huge pain. Um, that's that's a good Charles in general, right? But um, I, I was just kind of messing around, just trying to see where if I can get something there because I, I wanted to pair him up with. Um, What's his name? Vildred. Uh, and in that situation, right, if he's with Vildred, uh, Vildred's the main damage dealer, so Charles can act as sort of supplemental damage without having to have to, without having to like deal a lot of damage himself. So he can kind of put that burden a little more onto, um, what's his name? Onto, let's go hit this one. You can put a little more of that burden onto the Vildred. Um, but I think ultimately, uh, he didn't do enough damage to really do very much, and I couldn't outspeed my Vildred anyway, so it didn't work out very well. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I just took him off, put him on a, uh, an attack boot, and just kind of went on with that. Uh, this one looks like an SSB thing, as long as Charles doesn't go crazy. Or, But I kind of like SSB down here more. Uh, let's do... Hmm... I need a way to strip that immunity. Ooh, 
where I'm gonna bring SSB into this or not SSB uh, Dizzy. Yeah, that should be decent, I think. Uh, probably gonna want to bring where is the what's her name Cecilia. I'm looking for my Cecilia here. I don't bring Cecilia into too many things these days, just because. Well, actually, yeah, you know, this might just be better. Um, maybe I should just go with uh, this setup. Yeah, that might just be better in the long run. Um, yeah, instead of worrying about all this CC and, and whatnot, just straight up out damage them because he's probably not gonna survive, and she's probably not gonna survive. She might. I mean, she she probably usually has the Dingus Orb, so like she tends to survive. But uh, yeah. Uh, the only problem I have is uh, his targeting. There's no grass on my side, so he might just go for him. Uh, and, you know, he's decent, but we'll, 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 like I said, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, we have healing, so maybe we can out heal them. I kind of doubt it, though. It usually tends to not be enough. Uh, actually, yeah, they don't have uh, a whole lot of that, but I want to run that up there. What if I run this? Some serious damage mitigation. We don't. It's, the only debuff coming out of this team is her, and then yeah, obviously her too, but uh, I don't think she's that big a deal. Um, and I think her survivability, the survivability she gives us, as well as the attack buff and all that, might be a lot better. Um, so let's. Let's go with that. Uh, this doesn't look like a good idea, but uh, yeah. Okay, 1300, 13k HP. It's probably gonna deal a decent amount of damage. Almost 5k, that's not too bad. Everybody else has immunity, so I'm just gonna use this on him. Let's see if I land it. Oh, I did, nice. That was actually a pretty fast Charles. I think uh, maybe the, the, the lack in damage is from how much speed he has. That's a lot of speed. Um. Oh, and there you go. The biggest threat on their team is was going to be this. Damn, that's crazy. That's a lot of damage that came out of her. I'm just going to say right now. Um, let's heal. Fuck. Uh, that's going to suck because she's going to get hit by the... Uh, I forgot that... Uh, somehow I did not pay attention to the fact that Dizzy was here. I mean, you're looking at it, right? Obviously, you see Dizzy's there. I mean, it's kind of like, how do you not know Dizzy's there? But for some reason, my mind, my mind didn't register that I need to bring in uh, CC immunity. Um... I'm gonna get countered, but let's just do it anyway. Let's see if I hit the Charles. It, it's a, it's kind of hard not to like want to capitalize on Charles's defense break there, and I think, ooh, I think he might die. Ooh, very cool. Okay, so we get this. Uh, the question is, who do I kill here? Because Charles is a huge threat, but this lady right here could get really irritating really fast. Let's just kill her. She has the most HP. Basically, I'm doing the most um, with this. Okay, so she's gone. Yeah, but she, yeah, I don't know what was up with that. She was doing way too much damage, I think. Let's just hit Charles again. Uh, 13, that's not bad. Well, she should hit everybody, not just the... Uh... And he's probably going to die. Oh, he didn't die. And... He... Oh, he lapped us. That's very cruel. That's very interesting. Didn't Didn't expect that. Um, let's bring you back. Uh, the problem now is that Charles is really fast and it's kind of threatening. Uh, so he's probably going to start going on to SSB, which I really need to start working on getting her, um, anywhere. Okay, very good. Let's hit you, because you got... You kind of want to focus the defense break a lot more, because you'll do, obviously you'll do more damage. And here comes this again. So, so this is the kind of Charles I was thinking about making. Um, he's just... Fast. I mean, he's not super fast. As he's like 220, probably two something. Um, but the 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 speed buff from the speed debuff, I should say, from the dizzy is kind of exaggerating her speed a little more, or exaggerating his speed a little more because it's making us a lot slower. Um, but let's do let's do this. Okay, so this is fine. Um, I don't know what's up with this Charles. I'm not sure. Maybe I just got lucky and he didn't get any Elbrus procs. Um, which I think is generally the case. 
I've already attacked two out of the three forts, and people have been complaining about Charles uh, nonstop today, so I probably just got lucky on his Albers procs. Let's see, where's my <laughs> headphone fell out? Uh, so we outsped. This is pretty good. It's kind of weird. She's only got like 202 speed, so that Vivian is excessively slow. Okay. So, d hopefully, right, theoretically, when that Charon hits somebody, um, oh, actually, no, this is not even that bad, because now I can S3 with C, this is like the perfect situation, because I can S3 with CC, uh, now I take their thing off, it, I like the speed tuning, I, I, without even thinking about it, I just kind of put them together, but without even thinking about it, this speed tuning is actually amazing. Uh, didn't do a whole lot of damage because of the barrier and whatnot. Ah, see, this is what I was worried about. I knew who's going to go on him, but, of course, like I said, um, I have the barrier and the skill nullifier. We wiped it off, and he gets his, so that's pretty cool. Uh, pro strats, man. Obviously, just I'm just the best at this game. I think we should all... Uh, it's something for all of us to... We can all learn from, I think. Um, so let's do this. Uh, this isn't wholly useful because I don't get to heal anymore, and it only refreshes the barriers on... Them two. Oh man, why is everybody after uh, this guy here? It's kind of irritating. Um, let's just hit you because Vivian's always irritating. Ooh, very nice. So Vildred's not gonna die here. Yeah, even though. Uh, yeah, so now Vildred died, which is kind of the suck, obviously. Uh, basically, I think I should just kill most of them here, right? Uh, Vildred, he's kind of interesting on offense. You tend to lose him a lot. Like, he just kind of dies for stupid reasons. Um, let's, just, let's just hit you. And nice. Balls, dude. What the hell? Basically, we're fine though because he can't extend his buffs because the S3, well, the S3 is going to be up. He's not going to kill anybody. Can't really kill um, CC here. But he did do a lot of damage. That is uh, that is no joke. Uh, let's just get this up. Also, it's important to realize this negative synergy going on here between the barriers between CC and her. It's not, it's not optimal. Okay, well, we're just going to kill you. Oh yeah, I forgot she's got decent uh, survivability there. We gotta go kill that. Uh... And he crit through crit buff, which is fine. Oh, this barrier is pretty irritating. Uh, let's just hit you. And we're basically golden from here. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't know. I guess I just got lucky. Um, from what it looks like, I guess uh, this guy here did not have the Alexas, maybe? Or mistaken? Uh, this is bad. We're, we might not actually kill each other. We're not doing enough It doesn't look like we're doing enough damage um, between the two of us. We gotta get some lucky crits in. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like we're doing enough damage. Yeah, this is bad. Um, I'm gonna put the attack buff again. 82 HP. You see that? 82 health points we're losing by. Um... Let's get this, uh, let's get this, uh, thing up here. If I have to leave because of this garbage, I'm gonna be pissed beyond belief, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna ask one you. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know about this. This is kind of iffy. This is pretty garbage, dude. Those dual attacks. So I lost on dual attacks. Uh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Ugh, it's pretty annoying. That's actually, yeah, that, that K-Ron, not only dual attack... Oh, he had the Dust Devil, that's what happened. I remember he had Dust Devil there. Got the Dust Devil and the and the dual, and the dual attacks is what I ended up losing to. Or drawing against, I guess. It should have been a victory, dude. This is so irritating. So what's going on here? Is it a combination of not doing enough damage and not having enough speed? No, we're lapping her, I think. Most of us, anyway. 
I love how attack how garbage attack buff is on anybody that's not like a damage dealer. There's a 50% attack increase and it does no extra like it's not helping whatsoever on CC or uh water lady over here. I don't even know why she gives it to herself. Like he's an eye does not give out speed. She gives it to herself. So it's like Yeah, oh, this is dumb, dude. Okay, I think I have an idea. I think the trick here, and I'm probably gonna stop this recording and come back, is I'm going to save up some souls, uh, and then just keep soul burning MLCC's S3, because that's the highest damage ability she has. So just hang on to that, and just keep, you know, wailing away at her with it. Yeah, and I gotta, I gotta start activating this. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this recording, I'll come back when, uh... Uh, okay, so yeah, I just wanted to point out what utter fucking horseshit this is. That uh, I had to draw because of this. Because there's no way we can do enough damage to her, even with attack buff from this. It just keeps looping over and over again, so... Uh, yeah, just get, uh, get, I get fucked, I guess. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you, man. Um, as always, you're always getting combo attacks with people you never want to get combo attacks with, except for... Like, now would be, like, really great to just have at least one combo attack. No? Okay. I mean, that probably would have killed her right there. Uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. Um, you know. <laughs> Typic 7, if we ever thought it was going to get uh, fair or even remotely interesting. Uh, it's not going to be during Guild War. Uh, especially a Guild War that matters as much as this one. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? Let's uh, let's do this. Like I said, if I can get a dual attack, because all I've been doing is S1-ing, and there's a 5% chance of a dual attack. Could probably kill her. No? Okay. So I get at these a lot. Oh, okay, never mind. So I've gotten CC dual attacks with... I'll S1 with CC, and then, you know, dumbass DN over there, S1s to help out. But I haven't gotten... Uh, I haven't gotten DN to S1 with a CC dual attack. Let's try. Come on. Nope. Let's get this up, just for the sake of it. Uh, I'm just gonna let this go on for a little longer. I'm, I'm just praying for a dual attack, but the, we'll just leave. We'll just draw. Uh, there's no point in being a salty bitch about it. Okay, so if this is gonna happen, it's gonna happen here. Get the S3 as much damage as possible. Then I need to get the S1 from you, and you need to combo attack with CC, and she's not, so. <sighs> Gosh damn, dude, this is such bullshit. Yeah, whatever. Don't know who was talking there. Is that, is that Vildred? Why is he talking? He's dead. Get out of here. Uh, so that was that. Um, I'm glad you all got to bear witness to the nonsense that that was. Um, so let's go in here. This one's going to be pretty tough. Uh, just looking at it is already kind of hard. Um, so down here, we need some kind of damage dealer. Uh, you, you, and you. How's that work? Uh, doesn't seem like a good idea, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Um, up here. Uh, we need a fire unit. Let's get you. 
I'm gonna bring, where is she? You. Hopefully she can do literally anything. Um. Yeah, I mean, ideally here, right, what you want is like ox slots. So ox slots, S, uh, S2 is her. She kills one of these two, depending on whichever information you get from your guild. From your guild people, so uh, go check that out, uh, you know, in your guild wars. But you S3, and then they're left uh, 2v1. Hopefully your Oxloss is tanky enough to get another one off and then just kill her and you'll be fine. But like she can revive one of these if if need be. Um, or maybe you might even want to run like uh, Maid Chloe there. That'd be kind of interesting. But anyway, yeah, I don't uh, I don't have any of those two. I mean, I have Maid Chloe, but she's not built. Uh, so we're gonna go with this. Um, yeah, hopefully Lilius is tanky enough. She survives what's uh, what they're dishing out over here. Uh, very interesting. They're all in immunity, which is good. I feel like s 2 just for the barrier, because whatever's going to happen here is going to be pretty, uh, pretty meaty. Um, that's a pretty beefy barrier. I have her on uh, Bastion of Perlusia. Uh, when it's maxed out, it's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty hardcore, I think. Uh, but anyway. S1 is gonna give her more stacks. Let's see what happens if I do this. This is a bad idea, but... Okay, got the wrong person. Here comes Charles. Miss, nice. Miss again, please. Got the crit too, and the strip. Yep. Doesn't really matter. My turn was over, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. Didn't do much damage. Sixteen. So again, might not do much damage. Hmm. That was pretty meaty. Uh, this is irritating as hell because now. I can't clear the... Basically, Yuffie's turn is wasted here, which is pretty agonizing. And she's gonna die. Uh, so this was all just... the worst way it could've gone. Um, which is kinda, kinda my fault. Um, for one, it's a combination of like not getting information. Um, but let's do... This is a bad idea, but let's do it anyway. Uh, she'll take her turn next a lot faster. I gotta clear this, uh, this stuff anyway. Oh, very interesting. Okay, now this, now we're talking. Um... She's gonna die. I wanna stress the point here that she's got 18k HP and, like, 18k defense. And, uh... None of these are particularly damage dealy. This guy does some damage. Uh, she did some damage, but other than that, like, not a whole lot of damage, and she's about to die. So, <sighs> you know, what is what is armor for in this game? It's just a dump stat, really. Uh, this is pretty risky. I think uh, I'm gonna have to just S1 here, get hit by Charles. Okay, I didn't get hit by Charles. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's not get the attack here. Let's do you here. Come on, please do it. You motherfucker. Yeah, she's gonna die. Yeah. Uh, so much for the master plan, right? But basically, I think she's gonna die. She should, because if she doesn't, this is horse shit. Yeah, okay, I was about to say. Uh, there's that. Come on, come on. Uh, that was decent-ish damage. But she's gonna die now. Yeah. Um, basically, that was from getting kind of greedy with uh, Ruel. I really should have healed her, but... Um, I mean, Ruel's supposed to be the best uh, healer in the game, right? Um, tanky as hell. Uh, basically worthless. 
So for any of you who think that Ruel is going to solve anything, um, trust me. Like I'll show her build so you guys can look at it. This is not like a nothing build. It's it's actually pretty competitive. I, I'm actually surprised I had the the resources to pull it off, but um, yeah. So I mean, for those of you out there, don't uh, don't stress out about Ruel too much. Like you see me use her, and she barely does anything. Like she does win sometimes. It does make certain guild wars uh, a little easier. She doesn't do anything like you know maybe a maid Chloe. You can kind of get away with maid Chloe. Um, but they're both going to be very weak. Both going to be very, you know, like I said, essentially not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot going on with them. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, this is actually kind of good because this Vildred is going to take all of our uh, barriers off. So now, well, it actually didn't even take any barriers. Only took uh, one person's barrier off. Uh, but the point being that now I can reapply the barriers if I needed to, which I didn't. So that's fine. Let's just hit you. Oh, he's on counter. How very interesting. Of course, the uh, it's kind of interesting. That must that might mean that he's building a lot of crits on the um, on that Raz, because like if he's running less than fifty, just hit you. Why not? Yeah. Okay. This is a pretty tanky, uh, pretty tanky guy here. Let's clear this debuff and give us all better barriers, hopefully. Um, and let's just kill you. Okay. Oh, he's not dead. What the hell, dude? Are you serious? Uh, so she has that buff block, which is amazing. Uh, this is all. Yeah, this is fine. Um. Uh, let's see. She does. She's not gonna crit. So let's kill you. Uh, let's hit you again. Very interesting. And she's dead. Okay. Uh, let's just put this back on. Uh, like ninety percent of the reason this villager's not doing anything is because for one, he's on counter. So, uh, you know, congratulations to whoever. Uh, I'm loving that there's so many villagers on counter. They're just such food. Like, gosh damn! Like, I I have never been less worried about a villager in my entire life. People think they're it's it's always funny because it's always people that like they think they're clever, but it, like, it's one of those things where it's like, well, congratulations, bro! You're copying what you've seen everybody else do. Because no one like. No one that isn't some sheepish, like, <laughs> if, uh, you know, idiot is going to build their villager on counter. That's just nonsense. Like, <laughs> it's, I don't know, I, I find it fascinating, personally. Um, yeah, so, right away, you can always tell, you know, look in your guild, see who's running him on counter, and then, you know, just look at him and, you know, realize, you know, more about them than uh, they'd like you to. Uh, but yeah, so we're at 25 tokens to 48. Our, our score is pretty even, and they have... Two less than double our tokens, so it's looking like it's not gonna it's not gonna go very well for us. I don't know why I keep opening that. Uh, so we'll see how far down we drop. Um, but hopefully some of these were pretty interesting. Um, we got kind of fucked over with that first MLCC, and uh, on this one we got uh, it was a poor uh, poor lineup to begin with. I think uh, the Euphine and the Lilius and all that stuff. Um, Oxlots makes that a lot easier, but I don't have the gear to like make Oxlots any kind of fast. But my uh, my Lilius outsped there. So what I think, what I'm thinking, is maybe it's not an issue of building because my Lilius is like 215. Well, actually, yeah, let's go look at some builds real quick, just because uh, we finished this one kind of early. Um, ugh, look at this disgusting. Um, actually, normally I pause the recording and then I, I let it go. I accidentally stopped the recording, so what you're watching now is me editing uh, both of the parts together because, like I said, I stopped it and I started a separate recording. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I don't know how long this video is. I don't think it's hopefully it's not a, it's not super long. But uh, let's go see what some builds are here. 
Uh, so this is Lilius, Fashion of Perlusia 24, 216. So this 216 outsped, right? And I can, you know, I think it's not that hard to build a 240, 220, 230, you know, 220, over 220 speed ox slots with just like whatever you can. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, before I, I, I tried to put like the best speed gear I had on the, um, the ox slots to like, you know, because you wanted a super, but I think it's important to realize that a decently fast ox slots is better than no ox slots, right? So I'm not going to bring ox slots into like to cleave, you know, some crazy ass Basar outspeeding team or anything like that. But that team with, uh, what's his name? Charles, uh, MLCC, and um, SSB. It might be prudent to, to bring ox slots into that. The other problem being that, let's go take a look at my, where is she? My Euphine is built pretty decently. Um, this isn't max, so that's kind of a problem, right? But, I mean, she's built all right, right? I mean, of course you'd want like 300 or more uh, crit damage. I could probably sacrifice some of this attack for more crit damage if I can, you know, figure it out uh, how to do that. Obviously this ring, like a lot of this gear is also suboptimal. Um... Like it's all like I mean, look at this. The only thing I can reforge was this, and I and I reforged it already. It's got ten percent, twenty five attack, and, and all this stuff. Um, but like all these other pieces, they can't be reforged. So I'm kind of like, like I said, it's just just suboptimal is the is the point I want to make. Um, on another note, she wasn't built, but I think maybe going with Falconer Clurry might be a good a uh, good way to do it too. So I don't have to bring so much single target damage. Maybe bringing Falconer Clurry, uh, some healer, and maybe like Charles could be kind of interesting. I oh, don't look at that boot. That boot is horrible. But yeah, like I said, so I, I kind of build him with some more attack. Uh, he's, he's down eight crit chance, uh, but he's got a lot more crit damage. This boot, I'm still I don't have any uh, charms, but it's got 21 percent crit damage, and I got effectiveness out of all the stats I could have gotten. That would have been better than that. Uh, but it's not rolled anything into into this flat attack, which is good because like if you want more damage, you want the attack main stat. Uh, and then a flat attack in there, but you just don't want to roll it is the problem. Um, you'd be better served with, like I said, like, like like this here. You'd be better served with this piece where you have more crit damage. Um, but yeah, so I just need to max out this boot, and uh, he'll probably be up to like 2600 attack and whatnot. Uh, of course, my uh, thing isn't maxed here either. Uh, but yeah, maybe taking Flurry, Charles, and like a healer into, into that comp might be a little easier. A lot of people are, I mean, people keep telling me it's bizarre, it's bizarreable. But uh, I have a hard time seeing that uh, just because it comes down to like it really does come down to Charles. I think for most of you who, uh, at home, like that 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 team is de decently comparable, counterable. There we go. That team is decently counterable. But the problem is Charles. If Charles decides to uh, get RNG happy that day, then you know he will. And don't, don't look at this Violet. He's on throwaway gear. Uh, the other one I wanted to show off was this Ruel. Uh, okay, so maybe not 1800 defense, but like, you know, 40 defense off. Um, I've been trying all kinds of artifacts on her. Nothing really works on her very well. Of course, the, uh, I mean, where is it? Normally I run the... Ugh, if I can find it, it's down here somewhere. No, wait, that's the wrong thing. Uh, change. Normally I run the, uh, where is it? It's this, right? Probably gonna switch her back onto that just because I, you know, I feel like the speed is a little bit better. Um, but ultimately, yes, okay, you can say, look at all this gear that's level 75. But I mean, look at these stats. How are you gonna argue with these stats? I'm missing five speed here. I'm 180. Should be 180. Because uh, this boot isn't reforged, and I, uh, it's a decent boot. Look at all these stats you get off of it. But I really want like effect resistance or, or something else. And instead of rolling into this max HP roll by the way we rolled like two or three times into this which just kills me so I'm just waiting for another boot um though like I said it might be prudent to just boost this one and and, and call it a day uh, but ultimately you know like I said ignore this stuff here like gosh damn dude look at all these stats and she still just dies uh, but I guess that's a, com a common theme in the in this uh and on this channel, uh, welcome to the uh, guy who complains about Ruel channel. Um, and I'm I'm kind of justified, right? <laughs> because uh, not only did I get one Ruel, uh, I got two Ruels, 
Look, there she is. There's another one there. I can't believe that. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, probably getting some imprints on uh, Ruel might help. But the point is, like getting these stats, like my point is not necessarily that Ruel is bad. It's more so that like, what the fuck do these stats mean? Like how can you be this tanky and still just get chunked out by literally everything? Um, and it's not even like, I don't know, it's not even like, uh, oh, they're out gearing you because like, it, I, I take similar units into these teams, right? Like, you take, you take him. Look at this low defense and this high HP. He takes like, he can tank way better than Ruel can with such a higher base uh, defense. Now obviously he's got 800 more defense or 800 more HP, but I'm not saying that like, necessarily which one survives easier and especially because he's on Aureus, right? He takes everybody's damage. I'm not saying necessarily who survives easier. What I'm saying is that all things held equal, him held next to her, both of them taking the same damage. Um, Ruel is just going to take way more damage for some reason. Now, I don't know, like I'm saying. Um, and of course, before anybody tells me, oh, run her along, you, you don't run her alongside Aureus or uh, like alongside an Adamant Shield or some shit. Like, could you imagine like the quote unquote best healer in the game? And she can't even exist on her own. Like you have to bring Crow with her. Like you bring Crow because you have squishy units you got to protect or like SSB or something. But you're telling me that Ruel is not going to be tanky unless I have someone else with her. So basically, so basically what 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 is being told to me right in general is, hey, bring stuff alongside her that would make anyone tanky. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of a pet peeve I have. But anyway, like I said, uh, for those of you who think that uh, Ruel's going to solve all your problems, it, it, she's not. Um, she's just going to die over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, again, getting kind of rambly, uh, going off into nothing there. I like to bitch about uh, Ruel, especially because I'm cranky because of that. Uh, I mean, for one, that draw was garbage, and then. Uh, like I said, the, the, the other loss during the third game was fair and square. That was like misplay on my part um but yeah so like i said good luck on to you guys out there hopefully uh, somebody learned something from this video and uh stop complaining about uh ruel <laughs> uh stop well okay i need to stop complaining about her and having her and a lot of people out there need to stop complaining about how other people have her and they don't because trust me man like it's not you're not nothing's gonna happen to your account that's ruel is gonna solve anything um but yeah, so decent guild wars. Uh, actually, let's go see how everybody else is doing. Um, war status. Uh, this guy got two draws. Buildings record. Guild of war status. What the fuck is this? Okay, so that's who attacked. So one on one stars and attacked. Uh, Mr. Sir, two draws. Still waiting on that third attack. Uh, the squirrely boy, three wins. Very nice. Uh, let's go see. Actually, curious. Wait, how did he get three victories? Oh no, this is on his defense. So he got three victories here. Oh, talk about a decent defense. I mean, he's getting kind of shit on here, but like, that's pretty good. Uh, especially against this guild, it's a pretty good guild. Um, but yeah, so it looks like uh, our fearless leader here is doing pretty well. Uh, Damped got three draws, three losses. Yeah, so we're not doing so hot. The fuck is this? Two wins. In one draw. That's not how it went down, is it? No, you're lying. What the fuck am I? Yeah, it's it's too. Wait, so and a, what the fuck? Offense info. I got two wins here. I got a win and a draw. So. Does so two wins equals a win, a win and a draw equals a win, and a a win and a loss is a draw. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Welcome to uh, somebody who doesn't actually know what the fuck they're doing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, what that means. I guess. Uh, well, there you go. I guess I'm not as salty about uh, that that nonsense that happened earlier, but uh, it's still pretty irritating. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know how this uh, whole guild system works. I just kind of show up and, and kick ass and chew bubblegum and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, good luck out there and uh, try not to get too salty <laughs> like me. Um, yeah.